You found the house that you wanted or houses, and now it is time to put it in an offer. And there's a couple different things that are super important when it comes to offers. Obviously, you have the purchase price. If you come in low, you may risk losing the house or them not even responding to the offer. If you come in at purchase price, you may have left money on the table. If it's a really hot market, you may end up in a bidding war, right? Where you're going over the purchase price. The next thing is time frame. How quickly can you close? Are you putting in an offer that has a 30 day closing or 15 day? The speed can, it's gonna make an offer more desirable or less desirable. Then you have your contingencies. Are you coming in all cash and you don't need any inspections and you're gonna buy it as is? Or are you coming in with maybe 5% down and you're taking out an FHA loan or a government loan that could take a really long time and you wanna do a ton of inspections and you want to have a chimney sweep and you know an electrician plumbing all those different things go into an offer but they also can make the offer more desirable or less desirable you want to pick and choose what's most important to you are you just trying to get the house you already know that it's a really good house it's brand new and there's a ton of other buyers. So are you gonna overbid? Are you going to do a short contingency period or no inspections? Or is it an older house where you may need to do inspections? There's, it's been sitting on the market for a while. All those things you're gonna to wanna to talk with your realtor about to determine what type of offer you wanna put in. Do you wanna risk losing the offer by coming in with a fairly weak offer? Maybe you've got five different properties and you're really just trying to find the one that's gonna get you the best deal. All those things you wanna discuss with your agent, but you also want to talk about who's gonna pay for what? Who's gonna pay for the home warranty? Who's gonna pay for the inspections? Typically those are items that a seller would pay for or the home warranty right? The inspections are typically buyers, but everything's negotiable. And we're in a really inch and then same thing with closing cost, or maybe a rate buy down rates, depending on when you're watching this, they could be really high right now. If interest rates are really high and the seller can help buy down the interest rate, even a temporary buy down, that could be a big deal. Is that something you want to negotiate in the beginning, right? Maybe you want to go in with a fairly clean offer, a very simple one, and then when you do the inspections, maybe you come back and renegotiate. There's a lot of different factors that play into how you wanna make your offer. A lot of times it comes into how bad do I want this home and how much competition is around this home? What kind of market am I in? Get with your realtor on this, go back and forth on it, weigh the options out, see which one's gonna put you in the best position and then get those offers in. And it's not the end all be all. There could be, maybe you come in a little bit low, they send a counter back. The offer you make isn't necessarily the one that's going to be accepted. There's always some room in there. As long as your agent is, is speaking with the listing agent and they're going back and forth with them and not just sending in a, a blind offer, you should be able to get to a common ground where both the buyer and the seller's happy.